And actually, Seth Rogen produces the show, right? So did you have to audition for him? Was that nerve wracking? It did. It was. He is. Uh, he. You guys picked the most intimidating picture I've ever seen of Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, audition for me, please. Um, <laughs> oh my God, you sounded like him. Yeah, that was good. I do my best. No, I had to audition for him, which was super nerve wracking because he's one of my heroes, him and his uh, writing partner, Evan Goldberg. And I remember I was pacing in the hallway, going over my lines and he hadn't showed up yet. And then like seemingly a mile away, I could hear like, <laughs> I could hear his like iconic laugh. <laughs> and I was like, oh, he's here. And then once we got into the room, um, it was insane because he was reading Butcher on the day, a butcher is a, a character in the show who has a very thick uh, Cockney accent. So it was Seth Rogen not doing the accent, but saying lines that involved a lot of <laughs> hardcore Cockney slang, which my brain was really struggling to understand, you know, what reality I was in. It would be like, I would say a line and he would say, we got to get him in the boot and then we're going to bugger off. Like, it was really... <laughs> Is he trying to throw you off your game? Is this what it was? Like, I, I, I don't think so. He's a very, very nice guy. I, it was just one of those moments where I was so nervous and I was just, <laughs> it was so crazy. Um, no, I don't think he would intentionally do that, but it, memorable to say it the least. It seems like somebody that might mess with someone. That's the only reason why I'm yeah. saying it. <laughs>